literally just by adding a chin strap for this one patient, his residual AHI went from 48 to 23. And I didn't give up. And yeah, there was just, we learned a lot of things. Myself, my ENT partner, we learned some fascinating things last summer about patients, uh, especially mouth breathers. I'll just, I mean, we'll, I'll just sh- uh, share it with you. So mouth breathers with Inspire, we observed through DICE with Inspire On that the tongue base actually doesn't move. move even with stimulation with Inspire, if the mouth is open, it's like, let's see what's happening when he's asleep. And it turned out he was sleeping with his mouth open. You're like, oh, awesome. Yeah, this is great. Um, but we just, all we did was add a chin strap. Literally just by adding a chin strap for this one patient, his residual AHI went from 48 to 23. Same wow. programming, same uh, home sleep apnea testing device, same. It was, um, and then I titrated his amplitude, brought him in the lab in January. His residual AHI is 12 now. And his baseline actually started at like, I think. Wow, that is such a cool story. 